Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of City Sim Builds. In the previous episode, we started a new town over here, and this is going to be the county seat and probably the largest metropolitan area within Banks County. But you might notice over here, we do have some fires going on, so we're going to have to do something about that. Same thing over here on the island. And if you have a name for the island, please let me know, and I'll name the island something from your recommendation. But over here we have the town of Dunes and we also have Flounders Village. And then we have our industrial district, which I wanna redesign, I think. And then also we have our county seat over here. And I do need a name for this town. So if you have any suggestions or recommendations on that, please let me know about that as well in the comments. And in today's episode, what I want to do is I wanna fix this highway here by downgrading it to a two lane highway. And then I also want to come over here and fill in some of the gaps that we have with the development patterns. And in looking at this, this neighborhood over here, um, it's very blocky. I, you know, my, my vision for this is for it to be like a 1930s, 1940s style development in terms of the, the roadway layout. Whereas over here, you have a more organic grid that's based off the, the terrain of this, this town. But, and I do want to continue this and I want to merge these two over here. At the same time, I do want to be mindful of all like the street parking and everything. I don't really know how much of this I can control within City Skylines 2 at this point, but it's something I do want to be mindful of. I, I want to have better design practices when it comes to access management and just like general layout of the streets. But I did want to have this kind of organic feel here in the middle of our county seat. But before we get into today's episode, if you're liking the series so far, please hit the subscribe button and like the video. That'd be really awesome and it helps me out a ton. Also leave a comment with like general ideas that you want to see in this build. I love seeing your comments and getting feedback from you all. So let me know what you think. All right, with that, let's jump into today's episode. All right, so the first thing I want to do is I want to fix the highway over here and downgrade this. So let's jump in and take a look at this area. We have a decent amount of traffic through here, but it's definitely fine, I think, for a two lane highway. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade this side, the left hand side of what I'm looking at and get rid of this section over here. All right, that's looking pretty good. And now I'm going to get rid of this section over here since we don't need it. And by doing that, we do not have access to water and sewer. So we're going to have to remedy that here real quick. So we'll pop in, take a look at where our missing connection is. Oh yeah. And <laughs> I remember this from the previous episode where I had uh, this jog here because of the tile we, uh, that we couldn't purchase at the time. So do you want to put the water pipes up here so that they connect underneath the road? And then let's come down here and see. I think the missing section that we have an issue with might be, yeah, right here. And it's just like a minor gap. So let's put that in place. And then while we're here, I want to get rid of these sections where we had to jog around the tile that we didn't have. All right, awesome. I think that's looking really good. And what do we have going on here? We have high rent. Okay, interesting. So I know that's like a common thing with the game right now, and I did install the land value mod. So hopefully that will help out with this. Um, so we'll just have to keep an eye on things, but you know, I know this is like a known bug with the game. The household wealth here is wretched and the resident is one child and one adult. Okay, interesting. All right, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on that. All right, so I wanna come over here and take a look at the downtown area. I do like this development pattern here where we have uh, these alleyways. And I think I'm gonna continue this on a little bit over here as well. And I honestly can't remember if this is a gravel path here. 
I think it might be. Um, I think I wanted this to be an alleyway. Let's see. If I upgrade this, it's going to mess up everything through here. Yeah, I must have done a gravel path. So I'm going to make these all alleys. For the time being, I'm curious to see as this city expands if an alleyway is okay for this, if it's if it's appropriate. So I wonder if, do we have the ability with our advanced roadway tools here? Can we get rid of parking? I don't think we can at the moment, but I think we can make this tree lined. So I am going to do that because I do not want parking on this main sort of I don't know, circumnavigating road around the, the town here. At least especially in the, the residential area. I think that makes sense to have it here in the downtown area. And for whatever reason, it won't let me upgrade this. So let me switch, oh, duh, because I need to change the roadway type. So I'm gonna switch this over to just a regular road. And I'm going to upgrade this all the way over here. All right, that's looking good, except for this section. And we'll just redo this. Come in and use the complex curve mode. All right, that looks good. And now I can go back and add in trees lining these streets here. All right, I think that has everywhere taken care of on this road. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything, so I think that looks pretty good. All right, so what I think I'm going to do here is continue this sort of grid pattern over here. I'm going to leave this space right here for a park in the middle of the city, and I'm going to fill in some of this area with some residential and a little bit of commercial. And I'm going to try and transition this area from this sort of blocky design uh, that's a little bit more angular to this one, which is a little bit more structured with like the 90 degree angles. And at the same time, I do want to be mindful of access. Uh, this is our main road coming into town, and I do want to manage the access better here. And we definitely have high residential demand, so I want to get some of these uses in place. I do want to have more dense uses down here, and as we come out over this way, I want it to be more single family residential. So let's grab the alleyways again and see if we can get something here in place. And this is off. <laughs> I gotta fix that. And what I'm trying to do here uh, is similar to what I did over here and try to limit access so that you just have alleyways coming back behind here so that you don't have all these points where you have connections with the road. And effectively, this does, you know, cul-de-sac the road a little bit, but in the grand scheme of things, I think that it'll be good for uh, general traffic flow and everything. Um, don't want this to be exactly a giant cul-de-sac though. I do want to think about here how people would come in and out of this neighborhood. So we have four units that we're doing here. So I'll come off here and do the same thing here. And since this is a good midpoint, I'm going to tie in right there and same thing over here. I can't even like see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to bring this over like that and then get rid of this section right here. And for right here, I think what I'll do is make a roundabout. So I'm gonna put a little stub here for now, just so I can get the node. Then we'll curve a road coming in like this. All right, that's looking pretty good. We have somebody here just driving around these empty streets. So <laughs> who's this person? Let's see, pause the game real quick. The Riley family, Riley, excuse me. Riley, really? Riley, I think. Uh, they are going to a biofuel destination on Groove Lane. Okay. All right. More power to you. So let's do a little roundabout here and we'll do one here as well. 
And at these major connections, I'm going to go ahead and place roundabouts. And I want to upgrade these gravel paths here to be actual alleyways. So I'm going to quickly go through and replace all these. All right, excellent. I think that has all of them covered. I don't see any other ones. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right. So let's go ahead and zone through here. So in looking at our demand, we need high density, we need medium density, and definitely low density. So I wanna start placing some high density uses. So what I might do is rezone a few of these spots over here since they're a little bit closer to the downtown area. Oh, and I think I meant this for, to, for it to be a park as well. So let's get rid of that. And I kind of want to just experiment with the natural zoning that occurs with the game. It's pretty messy, but I want to see how the buildings fill in. So let's, let's bump up the game speed a little bit. All right, so as we get away from downtown, I want to continue some of the row houses here. And I think these are actually single family. Oh, so I see. I think we, since these are medium density, we still have a pretty decent high density demand. I was thinking that I was doing high density, but I, apparently I wasn't. Uh, and we don't even have high density unlocked yet. So I can't really address that at the moment. But what I can do is start to place some more row houses through here and let's let's do a little bit of european let's see what that looks like and i can't this is bothering me i am going to have to go through and fix some of the zoning yeah that's better uh that's not quite as good that's better maybe we just formalize these paths here Some of these streets where we have some funky zoning, I'm going to do commercial since we have a pretty decent commercial demand. And we're still pretty close to downtown. All right, so over here, I do want to do on this side, actually, townhomes. Or in the game, you know, they call it row housing. So we'll go in and place these. And before this fills up, actually, let's... Let's get our path in over here. Ah, uh, it's pretty janky, but I'm gonna let that be as it is. All right, so now over here, I do wanna start placing some single family. I do wanna be a bit more mindful about what is happening over here, similar to what we did over here, but a little bit more hearkening back to what's going on at Towns, and oh man, we have a huge fire over here. Hopefully this is okay, what, what can we do here? So we have, this is the wrong thing. So we have this, we have our fire station. We have a fire tower lookout right here, I believe. Oh, that burned down, apparently. Huh, all right, why did the playground burn down? What are the kids getting up to? We'll rebuild that. Potentially. There we go. All right. So first station's right there. We don't want to have one over here, but maybe I'll put one over here in, uh, by the groundwater station to kind of serve as like a rural fire station, I guess. And it's saying overlapping item. I don't know why it's saying overlapping item. All right, we'll put that there. That was odd. So maybe the fire station here will do something about this as it approaches the road, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Man, we have fires everywhere. Like one tiny little tree there. And you can tell where the fire here started in the middle and like just like ballooned out. That's crazy. But it seems to be kind of going out on its own. So I'll just let that do its thing. All right, so let's come back over here and take a look at single family residential. So I want to experiment with one concept, which is to have alleyways adjacent to the main road. And actually what I'm thinking instead of doing alleyways, I'm going to do a two lane symmetrical road. 
uh, that allow parking. Um, that way, we're prioritizing vehicular movement through here and pedestrian movements, but also doing that as well um, with the two lane road. It'll act as like an access road basically for the neighborhoods around here. And I kind of want to just do this as an experiment to compare it to, you know, these two little pockets of residential and how they've developed. This is a little bit more, especially down here, this is definitely more of a North American pattern where even though you might have alleyways and uh, smaller streets, you have a lot, a lot more access points. Then here you're kind of transitioning from that model to a little bit less access. And then over here, I, I want to just play around with it and see what it would look like if we try to manage our access a little bit more effectively. So let's get in some roads over here. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna give it a try. So let's go through here and add some access points where it makes sense. So I think it makes sense to have one here at this roundabout. Then let's do one, let's do one here mid block. Then we'll do one here mid block. Well, roughly mid block. Then I think we can continue this one here like so and we do have a little bit of elevation here but i think that'd be fine for single family residential it doesn't seem to be too steep so let's go into our landscaping menu and we'll level train and i want to grab let's see this is probably one of our lowest spots so we'll grab this we'll just flatten this area out whoa okay actually just kidding let's soften terrain i think that's <laughs> that's a better option here just even things out I did a little bit over here too because I wasn't quite happy with what's going on. So I want to kind of get rid of this hill a little bit. I, you know, I think the remnants of the hill a little bit would be fine, but I do want to make this pretty mellow through here in terms of our grades. And I think that's about as much as I can get away with. All right, so now I want to really just continue these roads into the center here. And I'm just being kind of random with this, or not random. I, I want them to be to intersect in a natural way. And I'm kind of just going by the seat of my pants here. Um, uh, we'll do one more right here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think I'm gonna just uh, get rid of this here at the roundabout. That way we simplify the roundabout a little bit. All right, now if we get rid of the nubs, what does this look like? It looks kind of weird. <laughs> um, I don't know how I feel about this right here. So I'm gonna get rid of these sections. And yeah, let's, let's rethink this a little bit. I'm just gonna go back to the drawing board with this, I think. And what I might do is just have like some simple grids through here. So that's 30 units. Maybe we can do roughly 10 by 10. I think that would be all right. So bring this out. I can't even see what's happening here. There's so much stuff going on. Can we even get 10? I don't know. Just looking for a spot where I can get 10 even. It probably has to do with something with my snap twos. There we go. Oh, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Definitely on the struggle train today. What if we use the grid tool? Will that make our lives 
easier or more difficult? I don't really know. So we'll try that though. Let's see if we can do longer blocks. Let's do 10 by 15. So we came out four on this side. Let's try that over here and start a new grid pattern and we'll see if that is looking okay. But based off the way things are going so far in this episode, I don't really know how confident I feel about that. Maybe in the end, all this will look cool and I don't know. So we'll, we'll, we'll just kind of see how things play out. I'm trying to get some natural overlap here if we do we do 15 by 10, which is not looking possible. All right, so I think what we'll do is do something like this. And we'll just kind of eyeball this, I guess. All right, I actually don't mind this. It is definitely interesting. So <laughs> we'll have to see how this actually plays out. So, all right, I do want to get a little bit of commercial in here. Maybe this could be like a little small area of commercial. And then maybe we could also have some over here. I think that might be a good spot. Uh, let's not do that one. Then the rest of this, I do want to do just single family homes. And I am completely zoning the wrong thing here. Ooh, we, and that all that effort we lost all, pretty much all of our residential demand. So that is something for sure. And I think I'm gonna leave this spot open for a little mini park area and then while that is doing its thing, I do want to come in and take a look at city services. So we do not currently have any healthcare over here, and that is something that we do need. So where would be a good spot for a healthcare facility? I think it makes sense to have it close to downtown, but the problem here is that the areas right here are not really conducive for that. So I'm gonna use this giant block here and place a medical center. One thing I do know that we need is some sort of post office. All right, so let's put the post office. Now it's too big to have, I think right by the shoreline. So we'll make this like a little city services area. And let's put that loading on the side street. And I think we, we do have a fire station, yeah, right there. But I think we need a police station. The police station is also pretty big. So let's, yeah, I really don't wanna take up the short line space. So again, this is gonna be like our little city services area. And then let's take a look at the schools. So we're doing well with our schools. I do know that we'll need eventually an elementary school to serve this area. And I think what we'll do for the time being is use this spot right here. And that will be where we'll have our elementary school. Then our high school can be, maybe we can have our high school be over here since, it, since this is kind of like an awkward block. Okay, that's looking good. One thing I do want to start having is some different modes of transportation. So I do want to think about where we can have a bus depot. I think it makes sense to maybe have this closer to downtown. We'll use this spot right here. And we're gonna come back and do transit in a different episode. But we do need to take care of some commercial. So I wanna be thoughtful about where we have commercial activities. Let's go ahead and zone some right here. Uh, oh, wait, this is office. JK, JK, let's back that up. 
And I want to zoom out and come back over here and take a look at the town of Dunes and see if there's any locations that might do well with a bit of commercial as well. So we have good coverage over here and I'm pretty pleased with everything over here. Maybe we can do a little bit of commercial right here. We'll see what develops there. All right, let's come back over here and take a look at how we can tie this in to over this way. I think it makes sense to have a road that curves around like this and comes back over this way behind the elementary school. So I wanna go ahead and get that in place. I do wanna start off with some different segments here. So I know we'll need something that kind of follows this contour line, something over here to transition between grades. And actually, woo, that is pretty steep. Let's take a look at that. I might back this up a little bit and we'll see what we can do to fix that. So if we tie in up here, that's a 5.4% grade, but it evens out if we come up to here. I think about 3% is looking okay. Then let's get another tangent section over here. It's minus 1%, and then that is gonna be tricky right through here. I wanna get down closer and see what this looks like. Okay, all right, so I think for this one, I'm gonna meet up over here. Let's find that spot. Then I want to back this up a little bit. Let's put a node right here just for the time being, something to get us started. Get rid of this for a second, and then let's find that. Come next to the school, and then let's say, come there, and that was 2.9%. I think that's perfectly reasonable. And we'll have just a small curve right there. Does this ironically meet up with this road? Not quite, not quite. And I kind of want it to. Kind of want to just continue this down. And I think I am going to do that. So we'll come past just a little bit, find the spot and tee it up there. Then how does this look? Just want to get down. Ooh, that is, that is pretty steep through there. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some terrain modification through here. So... Now that I know where the road is basically dipping down, I am going to get rid of these two sections, tie that in there, and then we'll slope our terrain between here and here. Definitely need to bring the brush size down. That is way too much. Let's go to maybe 50. Then we'll right click here and drag this up to over here. Something like that. And then we'll soften terrain on either side of this. Well, actually, let's let's leave that for right now. And how does this look now? So got some bumps in there, but I think these are adequate here. I think it's this amount of deviation, especially for like an older city, which is kind of the feeling I'm going for. I think, I think that's uh, perfectly fine. I kind of like this little cliff here. I don't know if we need to do any sort of like key wall or anything like that. I don't think that's really necessary. Um, but it shows that we had to modify the terrain a little bit. All right, let's get this area fixed up over here. And I'll come over here and get rid of Hamilton Street. And if we extend this road, it's a 5.7% grade then 3.2 to here. How does that look? I think that looks okay. Yeah. And along this main road, I, I do wanna have basically an access road, similar to what we did in the other neighborhood. And same thing on this one. So here I'm roughly letting the mid block crossings dictate where I bring these roads. Then I do want to continue this down to over here and tie it in like that. All right, I think that is looking pretty good. So let's get a few more single family houses through here. So the difference between here and here is roughly 15 units. And I'm just going to eyeball this going down the middle here. We'll do the same thing on this side.
really should probably just get uh, used to modifying the snap twos, but I'm being kind of stubborn in the moment and I'm just trying to get like a 90 degree angle and then I'll come back and get rid of these sections that I do not want. All right, this is looking pretty good, I think. Excellent. So our single family residential demand is back up. So that is good. So we'll place some of that over here. And I'm just kind of going wholesale uh, in terms of my zoning placement. How does this feel at the street level? It's kind of giving me what I want. So I'm gonna speed things up a little bit and see how they progress. So this is starting to accomplish my vision for what I want in terms of better planned developments. Although this intersection over here is a little jank. I wonder if we can introduce a roundabout and will that make that seem a little bit better? Oh, ah, I didn't mean to do that. Well, it's for the greater good, I guess. I don't know, that's such a loaded term. But um, yeah, I think that is looking fine. So the whole point of these areas here is to get cars off the main streets and allow parking and pedestrian activity to, to occur over here. There's a ton of signals that I need to go through and get rid of. It seems like every time that you place a, a junction, it's like, hey, let's, let's add a signal here. And I do not want signals here. I want the signals to occur here on the main street. But that is starting to bring in the old town area to over here. And we're getting some different development patterns here that I am having a pretty fun time playing around with. So I do want to go through and get rid of parking on these main streets and remove some of the signals here. And I'll be back when I'm done with that. All right, that's looking pretty good. So I want to establish a small park here and here and start to landscape some of the green spaces between uh, the access road and the main road here in these two new developments. So let's go in and, oh no, that building just, uh, I guess noise pollution was an issue? Interesting. Or maybe it's not. Unhappy, abandoned. I wonder why it was aban abandoned. So I'll leave that for another day. Uh, that's waiting on a hearse. Oh, we definitely need to probably have some sort of cemetery over here. Let's see, before we do the parks and landscaping, let's take a look at the cemetery. This is a pretty ginormous asset. And this really won't fit within some of the existing areas that we already have, but I think I might end it here at the end of Mulberry Street. That way it's like a nice terminus. Um, although it is, what you see coming into town, um, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, but I, okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave that like how it is and we'll develop around that. All right, so let's take a look at the park situation. So I do wanna do small playground, maybe right here. I'll do one here for this neighborhood. And let's have one close to the school over here. Sweet. So we got a small plaza. I'll do that there. Oh, and these are small small parks, not playgrounds. I think for the playground, I do want this one to be over here. So let's get rid of this. And we'll have this be, yeah, I think right there is a good spot for it. That way, if we need to expand the school a little bit, uh, we can do that. And then let's do a couple dog parks. So I think let's have a dog park here in the main area. Put that off to the side a little bit. Might be cool to have one along the shore here, something like that. Then we'll do one more over here. And maybe this will be, I don't know. I'm curious if I should make this a commercial area or a residential area. Let me know what you think in the comments, if this should be commercial, or uh, a park or more residential. Because right now I'm kind of leaning towards this being a little bit of a commercial area as well as a city services area. 
All right, so now I, I wanna go through and landscape a little bit and put in some paths and things like that. So let's see what these chestnuts look like. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So we'll line this street with chestnut trees. We'll bring this over to the park as well. We'll have one random, I guess this is an oak, I'm not really sure. We can click on that here in a second. I do wanna get the park lined with trees first though. Then through here, we need to place a smaller tree. Maybe some birch trees will look nice through here. Then over here, I think we might do some pine trees. Then along this main road, I might do some alders if I can fit them in. Ah, uh, I don't think I can. So let's see if we can go back to the chestnut trees. All right, that's looking good. So I do want to put in some paths over here. All right, cool. I think that is looking pretty good. Then let's get some paths over here in this park and get some trees. Then for over here, I do want to get some oaks in. Have this be pretty shaded on the outside. Then maybe we'll have just a couple random trees in the middle. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. And I'm really trying to get to the next milestone here, which is uh, Busy Town. So let's see if we can level up the city here. Let's see if we can place our welfare office over here. This thing is ginormous, maybe not. The size of these are just kind of mind boggling. So our post office is there. What if we relocate the police station? I'm cool with doing that. Now, will this fit? Now, actually, let's have this face this way. All right, sweet. We have our welfare office. It's looking pretty good. And maybe for the time being, I know I want to come back and redo this area a little bit. We can just zone a little bit more industrial since we have the demand for that. And I'm gonna use a couple points here to get some parking areas. I do wanna put a few parking areas, surface lots over here. And I think maybe what I'll do is create a few areas over here. Cause even though there's parking with these facilities, I think there likely would be the need for a bit more. And we'll come back and uh, add some paths through here and make this feel a little bit better in the future. Do you want to take a look at the park situation? I don't think we have any parks over here. So I think I am going to make this at least partially a park area. Maybe what I'll do is have some commercial down over here, maybe connect these two roads up. But over here, I'll start to have some park spaces. We'll do a small playground for the neighborhood and a dog park as well. And I want to see what our parks are like over here. I think we might need another park on this side of town as well. And I think it also makes sense to have a playground over here right by the elementary school. So we'll add that next to the school. And, and awesome, that just unlocked Busy Town for us. So with Busy Town, we get $1.6 million. We get seven development points and nine tiles excellent all right and i think that's gonna do it for today's episode we have done a lot we expanded our county seat and again i need a name for this so let me know down in the comments what you think this should be called but we expanded the county seat uh we're experimenting here with a few different development patterns we have kind of a more traditional like uh north american style grid um, then we're starting to get into controlling some of the access a little bit as we fan out from the downtown area. And then over here, we're really controlling the access with uh, these access roads. 
and only having a few key spots where people can come in and out of the neighborhood. Same thing over here. Uh, the other thing that we did was we added some different city services and education facilities, such as like uh, the elementary school and um, the high school over here. And we have like things like our welfare office, um, uh, postal service, uh, and a cemetery and a few other spots as well. So with that, I think we're gonna wrap things up for today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, um, please think about doing so. That'd be really, really awesome and it helps me out a lot. Also, if you're liking the video, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below. I love to hear back from everyone. And I wanna thank you all for being here today. It means a lot to me. So I appreciate you listening to me ramble about how I'm going through building this uh, series, but yeah. Hope you all are having a good day and we'll see you back here in Banks County in the next episode. All right, take care.